Hey, what's up guys? Chief Pat here and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash Royale video and today we're going to be hopping into the next episode of our Let's Play Clash Royale series but first we hit an absolutely insane milestone on my channel. So the other day we ended up hitting 2 million subscribers on my account which literally blows my mind and uh, maybe it blows my mind so much that it's made me sick because I've been sick for like the last two weeks and it's been so, so annoying. I wasn't able to post a video on that day uh, but I really cannot thank you guys enough whether you subscribed on day one or you just subscribed like an hour ago when you first saw this video. Uh, yeah, it really is just mind blowing. And for celebrating hitting 2 million subscribers, I have a crazy video planned. I have to fly across the world to actually film it. It's a very specific thing that I'm gonna get done. And uh, I can't wait to share that with you guys. That's gonna be filmed, I think around June 20th, which is 10 days from when this video goes up. And uh, I know you guys are gonna go crazy. It's not necessarily the most typical video, and I can guarantee it's never been done before. Uh, but you guys will just have to stay tuned it's gonna be crazy and I hope you guys will enjoy it I know you'll enjoy it because I think it's just gonna be absolutely amazing and everyone I've talked to has said it's one of the coolest ideas I've had for a video but anyways let's go ahead and keep grinding on my account even though I've been sick doesn't mean that I haven't been able to play some Clash Royale of course going off against a bunch of level nines we're gonna be playing against Carson uh, from no squirrels and he's gonna play that minion horde which we'll take out with our arrows and let's go ahead and get ready to pump up from the back so elixir collector's gone down at this point he does have an elixir advantage on me uh, but we should be okay. I'm getting prepared for any sort of push that he might have by having this cannon here, whether it's a hog rider, uh, a balloon. He's going to play a giant, so still that's going to work with their cannon, and he's actually going to go for the balloon giant combo, uh, so I'm going to play my musketeer. Now, notice that my musketeer is going to start shooting the giant. We're actually not damaging the balloon yet with our musketeer until it finally turns around and ends up taking out the balloon just a half a second too late, and it ends up taking my tower down to 1337, aka Leet, and now we're going to make a push towards the left-hand side of the map. We've got the Musketeers swallowing up those goblins, the, or I mean the Valkyrie swallowing up those goblins. we got the Musketeer assassinating from the back. And at this point, just looking to get another Elixir pump down and hopefully to be able to gain another Elixir lead. All right, so two pumps are down. Looks like he's got one in the top left. He's gonna play a minion horde and follow it up with an oops. So I only imagined that that was a mistake and he meant to play his Elixir collector instead. So I'm gonna arrow that down for a two Elixir positive trade. And at this point, we're actually not looking too bad. I think we put the elixir in our favor. We can start playing a musketeer in the back. If he goes for another gi giant balloon push, uh, obviously that's not gonna do any damage to any of my troops. So again, the balloon and giant really not gonna do too much. I can poison out the goblins as well as help slow these guys down. My musketeer's finally gonna focus on the balloon and he invested so much into that push and he's actually gonna get absolutely nothing out of it. And now I've got a half health hog rider on the tower. I've got the musketeer helping out. I'm gonna arrow down that minion horde before it can get to my tower. And at this point, things are definitely looking pretty spicy. He does have a giant coming down the lane, but it was played just a half second too late to where the musketeer is actually gonna take the tower aggro before the giant does. And again, another musketeer from the back. Even though he's level nine, his musketeer is level five, which is the same level as mine. So he must have just power leveled through a couple of his cards. Let's play another hog rider down the left-hand lane, followed up with a poison. And uh, let's see if we can get any damage off on that tower. I think we might've gotten a single hit off and I'm actually gonna swap a Valkyrie in front of our musketeer to try to see if we can save it, which we will be able to do. And at this point, we've got two musketeers, we've got a Valkyrie, we've got a hog rider, and he's got no defenses to stop that hog, which means this one is all but over, and that's gonna wrap up a one crown to zero victory. So a pretty solid win against a level nine. Hopefully for today, we can go undefeated uh, for celebrating hitting two million subscribers. Of course, the video coming up in 10 days is gonna be a way better celebration, and I can't wait to tell you guys, I wish I could spoil it. But anyways, one crown for that battle to go towards the 10 we need for our crown chest, and let's go ahead and hop into a another battle against Charlie. So starting off, we actually have a couple of options for what we can play for our first card. We could play the Pump, we could play the Musketeer, we could play the Valkyrie, but we decided to go for our Pump, seeing as he played an aggressive Pump in the very beginning. Always want to make sure that we match up as far as the Pumps go, because it's obviously way easier to play defense against someone if they try to Zerg you in the very beginning, uh, especially since he is a level 8 and he's going to have that upgraded tower damage. But still, let's go and play a Valkyrie in the back. We've got our Musketeer down as well, and uh, at this point, looks like he's going to play a Cannon and still start going defensive. All right, so since he played that cannon a little bit early, obviously it's gonna lose a little bit of HP before I even get to it. At this point, I've got the poison spell down. I'm gonna arrow down the minion horde. Looks like it is gonna get a good amount of damage off of my Valkyrie and end up taking it out. And my hog rider is gonna run all the way to the tower and take a look at these one elixir skeletons that I played though. Playing that one elixir skeleton uh, quadruplet, I guess you can say, ended up saving my musketeer and doing about, looks like 
800 damage against that tower just because of those one elixir skeletons. If I didn't play those skeletons, he could have just played uh, his, I guess, yeah, his mini P.E.K.K.A. would have just run at my musketeer and killed it, but instead, playing that one elixir ended up getting 800 damage off on his tower, uh, so definitely a really favorable play right there. And now we have to play defense, seeing as he's making a golem rush down the left-hand lane. Now, if this fails, he's definitely going to be in a lot of trouble. Unfortunately, right as I drop my musketeer, it's going to fall into the poison, uh, but since he doesn't have an elixir collector down, and I do at this point, okay, he's going to play one right now, but seeing as this push is probably going to fail, getting very little damage off against the tower, even though the golem explodes, and does end up killing my Musketeer. We're still in a fine position. We've got the Elixir Pump advantage. We do have a full health Valkyrie as well. Uh, so at this point, just saving my Elixir. I'm gonna go for a nice little push with the Hog, dropping my arrows as soon as possible to try to conserve a little bit of damage. And he'll end up playing a cannon on defense to stop that Hog Valkyrie push. So not the worst thing in the world. Things are looking okay. I do have to watch out for this Poison spell though. So I'm gonna play a Musketeer right here. And uh, as soon as we keep pumping up, now that we've entered double elixir, it's going to be really hard uh, to be conservative. So let's go ahead and go on the assault. We've got the poison. We've got the hog rider. We've got, looks like our skeletons are going to get popped by that poison spell, but the musketeer is going to help out as well. And then uh, now with the hog rider going crazy against that tower that has had its attack speed reduced by the poison, we've taken it all the way down to 350 HP. And uh, we're only a couple of poison spells away from cracking that tower. Now he's going to play a second golem on the left-hand side. I'm going to go ahead and give him a Wow, because that's pretty impressive whenever someone plays two of those, uh, seeing as they cost eight elixir each. But take a look at this lure right here. I'm going to drop the Hog Rider and take a look at what happens to the Mini P.E.K.K.A. It's going to distract the Mini P.E.K.K.A. all the way back to his side of the base, letting me easily clean up his golems right there. And with 10 seconds left in the battle, that would actually ended up being a pretty nifty play. And uh, that's going to be ending up deciding the game as that Hog Rider was able to take down that tower. The Elixir Collector to distract. Arrows aren't going to do too much. And that's going to wrap up the game against Charlie uh, with a pretty funny interaction with the Hog Rider right there. So good stuff. 40 trophies for that battle right there, as well as a silver chest. I definitely love to see that. And we're back at 2,103 trophies going into the final battle of the day. All right, so let's go ahead and queue up against Anonymous from Shake and Bake. Looks like we're going to be playing another level 8 on this account. And it shouldn't be too bad. Let's play a Valkyrie from the start in the very back. I'm trying to save my Musketeer just in case he drops, like, a giant balloon combo. He's going to play a giant on the top left. Uh, so it's good to know that he has that card. I'm not sure if he has the balloon, but he's definitely going for a slow push down that left-hand lane. And uh, I'm going to follow up with the Musketeer, and it's sort of shaping out to be one of those insane pushes on both sides of the map. So he's got the Giant down. He's got the Musketeer down. He's going to fireball out both my Musketeer as well as a couple of my other troops. Really unlucky that that fireball uh, ended up one-shotting my Musketeer because he does have a level advantage as far as his rares go. I'm going to drop a Valkyrie on top of the Musketeer as well as the Bomber. And uh, taking a look at my Valkyrie, seeing as it barely kills that Musketeer, we're going to be able to end up saving our tower. And if you take a look at the right-hand side, we took the tower all the way down to 371 HP. Now I'm going to play a little bit cautious with my arrows, drop them at the last second uh, just to see if he was going to drop a free spell or anything like that. That's why I like to wait a little bit. Poison spell plus some skeletons might be able to kill these barbarians. I don't have my Valkyrie, so I'm sort of just improvising right now, and it ends up being a pretty decent trade. Uh, five elixir for five elixir. And at this point, we can get ready to play an Elixir Pump. Depending on what he does, of course, he could just drop another Giant from the very back. And uh, let's go ahead and set up and see what happens next inside of this battle. So I've got the Elixir Collector in my hand. I'm just going to hold on to it, get ready to play it at a moment's notice. I don't really have a great card that I can play right here. So I play a Musketeer from the very back. Really, maybe not the best move, but at least I played something and I didn't waste any Elixir. But again, he's going to go ahead and Fireball down my Musketeer. I'm just going to drop a single Hog Rider down the right-hand lane, as well as prepare my arrow seeing to see if he drops the minion horde uh, but it looks like it's not going to come out and end up doing anything all right so again valkyrie on top of the musketeer going to be able to stop her in her tracks looks like he has a poison spell onto my tower as well as that giant the giant is going to do massive work and i will end up dropping my skeletons just to see if i can save a single shot against my tower i might have i might not have i'm not exactly sure but for one elixir it was definitely worth it and at this point we're going to try to see if we can save this left hand tower throughout the rest of the battle. Now, do keep in mind that he does have the poison, uh, so that's gonna be a little bit tough to deal with. Arrows are gonna take out the minion horde. That was a pretty desperate play by him. And uh, now we're just holding on for dear life. He actually does have the fireball as well. I think he has the fireball plus the poison. Uh, so he's really just gonna take this tower out no matter what we do. So I've gotta to prepare to do another push down the left-hand lane to take out that tower. Uh, so I'm gonna play an elixir collector in the back. I know that he's probably just gonna take those out. And there goes the first tower for me on my side of the map. And he's gonna tie it up at one-to-one -one 
going into the last 20 seconds. All right, so at this point, he's got the Barbarians down. He's got the Minion Horde down as well. I'm gonna have to arrow that down in just a second. His Barbarians are starting to lock onto my tower. I'm sure that he doesn't have that much Elixir, seeing as I do have two Elixir pumps. I'm just gonna go for a giant push down uh, the other lane. The Musketeers are gonna try to do their best against the Skeleton Army, but the Skeleton Army is actually pretty good against the Musketeers. And uh, now we're actually at a little bit of an HP disadvantage going into the final 50 seconds of the battle. So another giant in the very back. He's going for a pretty aggressive push using the bomber and the giant. I'm just gonna go all out with my poison spell followed up by the Valkyrie. His minions should pop in just a moment and take a look at the damage we're doing against the tower. The tower is gonna drop all the way down to 300 HP. The musketeer is gonna walk up and actually end up finishing it off, giving us a two crown to one victory. So checking out our trophy hall, looks like we're gonna end up picking up about 30 trophies from this battle, not too shabby, putting us into the mid 2100s, and uh, honestly, a pretty good day of pushing for celebrating hitting 2 million subscribers. But guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. At this point, I think my head is gonna explode, so I'm gonna lay down and hopefully feel better. Again, keep your eyes posted for the 2 million subscriber video, as well as some more videos coming out inside of my channel. I'm gonna start posting more soon, as soon as I feel better, uh, but who knows how long that's gonna take. And uh, yeah, hopefully I make it to see next week. We'll have to see what happens. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like. I'll be answering you guys in the comment section below. As well as on Twitter, make sure to hit me up at Chief Pat to keep updated with anything that's going on. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.